sand, salt water, and sunshine. All things peanut growers got to enjoy in Panama City Beach, Florida recently as they attended this year's Southern Peanut Growers Conference, a time of fellowship and fun that at the same time allows them the chance to hear from various industry experts on a multitude of topics surrounding the peanut industry they can take back to their operations. This is a conference we've been doing for over 20 years. Uh, we generally have four to 600 people here. The families seem to love it because of the beach availability for the children and the spouses to go and enjoy a bit of a mini vacation away from home. But it's also very informative and the information is brought forward here and we try to break it up into some sessions where you get education and in free time for your family. In a world in which uh, information is readily available, but many times we're too busy to go seek out the latest and most in helpful information there is and at this conference we try to get the speakers that are talking to the things that are pertinent, the things that are practical that we can utilize and the things that will help advance us in our profession and keep us going. The theme of this year's conference, Together Towards Tomorrow, a theme that's meant to show a united industry in a changing world. And while at the conference, attendees got to hear how the world is changing in the form of action on climate change in which they got to hear from the USDA's Alan Torbert, who spoke on carbon emissions in agriculture and what that can mean going forward if climate change legislation is codified here in the U.S. that limits carbon emitted by the agriculture industry. Agriculture is considered to produce 20% of the total carbon emissions worldwide. So it's we're, our industry, while we don't think of it being a major energy um, producer, it's, it is, plays a major role in the total emissions that go to, um, uh, that build up carbon in the atmosphere. So you can't produce 20% of the potential footprint without having, uh, if anything that, that's legislated about the emissions are going to impact um, the uh, uh, farmers. Torbert says that farmers should be thinking of this going forward because if climate change action is put into law, it would certainly impact their operations as they'd be tied to carbon caps and credits. If you're an industry and you want to expand or you have uh, you know, more business here, sure, and you're going to exceed that cap, the only way you can do it is to buy carbon somebody else has either sequestered or has has not submitted or they they have reduced their productions and so they have carbon credits that they can sell and then you can increase your carbon emissions by get, buying their offsets and so that's what they call card um, cap and trade so the carbon is is capped if you want to exceed that level then you have to trade somebody else for the carbon to allow you to do that. Reporting in Panama City Beach for the Farm Monitor, I'm John Holcomb.